Hello friends, my name is Habib. Today we are going to learn how to make a wave shooter using Godot. Uh, part 1. So first, open up Godot engine. And before I watch this video, make sure I have a basic knowledge of Godot. New project. Wave. Browse. Create folder, wave shooter, select current folder, create an edit, two D scene, create a new two D scene, save wave dot now for the player, create a new scene, naming it to character body 2D. I name the scene player. Move this here and set this to floating. And now for the player, create a mesh instance 2D for the mesh. Create a new quad mesh, increase its size, and then uh, we also have to edit the color of the mesh. So go to texture, I mean uh, visibility, and then I am going to make this player blue. As for the wave, if you want to change the background, go to project, project settings. Under rendering, go to environment, and now I'm going to change the environment color to black, then close, then drag the player scene. Now for the player, uh, now uh, for the player, you have to create an area 2D and name it player pop a player then create a collision shape 2d and name it and create a new rectangle shape save create a new script and now go to project project settings input map and now we need uh, controls for the player to go up, down, right, and left. Now for the up control, let's make it to be the up arrow, down the down arrow, right the right arrow, and left the left arrow. Close. So that I'll write funk underscore physics process. Anything in underscore physics process is going to be running a free frame. So write var right r which stands for right equals to input dot get underscore axis left comma right. What this does is that if the value of left, if the value of what is here, which is left, is true, which means if the left arrow key is pressed. Then the value of this is going to be minus 1. If the value of right is true, i.e. if the right arrow key is pressed, then the value of that will be 1. But if none of it is true, then the value is going to be 0. Now do the same for the other. Var u is going to be up, comma, down. Move and slide. Which allows us to move it. Now, if R, then it's going to set the velocity dot x to 400 times R. But then, if if U, then it's going to set the velocity dot y, the y speed, to 400 times U. Uh, let me change this to an elif statement. Elif U. And then else, it's going to set the velocity dot y to zero. 
and then the velocity dot x to zero do play do not forward plus they change this to compatibility save and restart this now we can move our player and now we also need to add the actual shooting to it so duplicate our player dot CSN so duplicate uh, no duplicate our player scene and in this bullet for the bullet scene it's just going to be the players player but smaller let me scale it down let me scale the scene down and we name to name this to bullet change this to bullet and change the color of it material uh, uh, visibility to a uh, to a light version to a lighter blue to white I mean create a new script for it so now funk underscore ready anything in underscore ready runs only it only runs at the beginning of our project so it runs once at the beginning of our project So now I have to write var rot equals zero. Rot is equal to get underscore global mouse get underscore global mouse position dot dot angle to point position. And then write funk underscore physics process move and slide var vel equals to vector two vector two zero comma zero changes to move and collide move and collide takes in an argu takes in many arguments but the only argument thing you need to input is the vector 2, which is this vel. This is the x speed and this is the y speed. In underscore physics process, set vel to be equal to vector 2 and set the speed to 4,0 dot rotated rot. Save. What this does is that get underscore global mouse position the angle underscore two point. It gets the direction of it from the mouse. And then what this does is that it makes it move, uh, point to the mouse and move. Uh, I'm just gonna say it like that. So, anyways, we have to make a shooting system for our uh, game. So, var bull was preload and then we have to choose our bullet scene which is bullet.tscn also write var cool down equals to zero cool down plus equals one so write if then it puts dot is underscore mouse button underscore pressed then mouse button underscore left and cool down is greater than 11 which means that if the mouse if the left mouse key is pressed and co cool down is greater than 11 it's going to set cool down to zero and then bullet equals bull dot instantiate what this does is that it creates an instance of the bullets that can actually be put into the scene All right get underscore tree dot root 
dot add underscore child dot add underscore child and then we have to uh, uh bullet uh no this is var bullet bullet and now we have to set the bullet position the bullet dot position equals glue one underscore position sets it to the, the, the player's position play now you see that there's a bit of a problem so anyways let me change this to go to project settings input map as an add new action name get attack so if the j key is pressed okay all right if then input dot is underscore action score pressed attack to do that but you see there's a bit of a problem oh no changes back to isn't come out person score pressed remove this attack and for the up add a w add w for the down add s for the right add d and for the left add a close save now we can move and shoot bullets but you see there's a problem the bullets are facing away from the mouse cursor we need to face them towards the mouse cursor so write minus four instead so now you see that the bullets are finally pointing towards the mouse cursor anyways that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel obacode bye